Hello! Almost stream time. I'll wait another 10 minutes. I'm ready to, uh, to filter in and figure out the app and whatnot. Yeah, but somebody, for the love of God, tell me if my volume levels are off. If they are. If they're not, I'm just gonna assume they're fine. Just gonna assume everything's fine. Also, there is a fan in the background. I'm not turning it off. It's a real speepy kind of day. I'm just saying. It just feels like it is. So far, this playlist is pretty good. I'm enjoying it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll get this stream running until, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll go like three hours like last time. That seems to be a good amount of time. For me anyways. Figure I'll give it another six or seven minutes. And then we can get started on some Portal 2. Uh, it's not modded. The only thing I've done is try and download some reshades on it, which I have no idea if they're working or not, because uh, I realized I genuinely don't fully recall what Portal 2 looks like originally. Like, your memory is not that clear. <laughs> Mine certainly isn't. But it's supposed to make it look slightly prettier, so there you go. Make it look like it was made in, like, the last year or so is the idea. Although it doesn't look like it's a texture and mesh overhaul, and that would be some serious modeling. But I don't... I don't think I've heard of people doing that with Valve games. I don't really think you can. I mean, the Source engine is pretty solid as is. I mean, hell, a lot of the Gmod games look even better. <laughs> This is a really good song. Damn. Keep cheap face.
apparently my uh, downstairs neighbor complained about my fan. Uh, it's a, I'll be at, okay, it is a cheap, like, one of those, like, pole fans with the big rotating head, and, like, they're not loud, but this one is a five blade, and it's, like, exponentially more powerful. Uh, the base of it is pretty wide, so it does disperse some of the sound, so I wasn't hearing it, but I guess she was, and, uh, she told my landlord, and my landlord told her that I'm, you know, she wasn't gonna make me turn it off. But just like if I could put something under it. So uh, now I've got like a big folded up blanket under it and it's like barely standing up. <sighs> Survival, I don't know. Man, can't, oh man, could you ever believe I was using pretzel rocks for music? What a joke. No offense to pretzel rocks. It's just the collection, it all sounds the same. And what they classify as synth is not synth waves. I mean, I think this is slightly closer to arcade chiptune, but like, not fully, you know? Still got the synth wave to it. I'm like, I'll hear a couple of the same songs, but I'm pretty sure it's like... How long is the playlist? It's 42 hours, yeah, right. <laughs> I might hear a song a couple of times, but that's just because Spotify algorithms are weird. I mean, it does that with my personal playlist. Like, even the ones that are like 10 hours, it's like, do you want to hear the same three songs every single time? I say no, and it tells me yes. Make sure you're staying hydrated, peeps. It's still hot out there. I genuinely have no way of knowing how hot it is unless I look at the temperature. Um, and not because my apartment isn't hot, but it isn't as hot. Because I have the tinfoil up. But also I'm always sitting directly in front of a fan. At, 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 of some kind or another. So... I just live there. In front of a fan. Never knowing the real heat. I'll know the real heat once it uh, gets back up above 30, like 35. Although I think it's supposed to be like 33 tomorrow, isn't it? Or was that today? I can't remember. Who knows what day of the week it is. I do because I scheduled streaming today, but that's the only reason. Good to know. Yeah, that's been about the average. <laughs> Honestly, that's been like the average highs every week. Really, since the heat wave. Which just means when the real heat wave comes, it's gonna be real bad. Like later this month, sometime next month. That's usually when it gets hotter. I know, uh, when it gets above, like, when it gets even close to that high or above that high, I just, I suffer. I feel like this screen needs to be repositioned. Hang on. Hold the fucking phone. 
Yeah, it's not properly centered. It thinks it is, but it's not. Hang on. It's gotta be pixel perfect. Maybe you can't see it, but I can. <laughs> Turn the game back up. Right. Welcome to Portal 2. You remember her from last time, from yesterday, last episode on Portal. Alright. Let's start it. Well, I gotta turn up my mixer and two. Alright, chapter one. Ten chapters? Yeah, that's not bad, but it's a longer game, too, for sure. Ooh, there's, there's the portal music. There's the portal. Alright. Uh, the one thing I will say for older Valve games, and I guess all Valve games are older now, cries. Cries a lot. Is the, uh, the loading screens, but that's just a mark of its time. Like, the, the, what it was doing and asking of a lot of computers was kind of a bit further. So, to make up for that, loading screens. Good Watch your eyes. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Uh. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. <laughs> Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and gymnastic? mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. That was gymnastic, me this looking up and down? Art. Okay. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. I do. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Alright. Good. Now please return to your bed. I, mean, I, I guess so. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you gonna open the door? At any time? Hello? I've been in this bed a long fucking time. Are you, Are you seeing door? that? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. <laughs> oh my god. Just open the door! Hello, friend. Why not open the door? Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Alright. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... I don't fine. even know that he's no, saying the right thing. Absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. Should we open right, the look, door? Okay, I'll be honest. You're the last test subject left. And oh. if you don't help me, we're both going to die. All right, I didn't want to say it. There you go. You've dragged it out of me. All right, dead. Dos muerte. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I guess, uh, I guess we'll ah. open the door. Ah! Oh God, you look um, good. Oh. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Yeah. Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Uh, okay. Hello, sir. Oh. Oh. My lamp! All right down there! Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. I think I'm fine. Most Hello? test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. 
Okay. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do when you he's understand not wrong. what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Yeah, it makes just sense. Just tell me. Just say yes. Um, yeah. Okay. What you're doing okay. there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Say apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All okay. reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh. Uh, sir? Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. What did you... How are you doing down there? How... Still Where did you on. come... Yeah. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Oh. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. Oh, uh, okay. And All of right. course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Okay. Well, Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I uh, going to make it through? Have I got enough space? I don't think so. Uh, but... Just, just got to get through here. Okay. Uh, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Oh. Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh, look at all those test subjects and cubes! Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Uh, uh, okay. okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I think I, I, know I what you're think about. this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. But uh, I'm going to attempt a manual low. override on this wall. 500 people low, but could get a bit technical. Hold this on. This is not. Oh. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes, but don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, okay. do hold on this time. Woo. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. That's the spirit. <laughs> All right. Bye, Wheatley. And this is Portal 2. Welcome. Hello. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These oh. pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Okay. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in emergency three, testing. two, one. They're very certain about their testing. It's got to be done. Okay, we've been and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Yeah, we've been if here before. If cube and button-based testing will cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Good to know, good to know. Um, excuse me, sir. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This uh -huh. Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's like the shell of the elevator, almost. Yeah. Alright, so things have not been going well in the time we've been in a induced coma for nine, 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 nine unknown period of time. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill what? may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. 
<laughs> the ear tubes inside your head. Actually recording or no? Like the lights on, but I cannot tell. All right, all right. So a little mix up on the uh, starter tests. Okay, we're Good. faster. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Oh, Before okay. re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Oh, okay, good to know. Man, the first time I played this was on my Xbox. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Oh, okay. I think we're just supposed to worship it. Is what we're supposed to do. Uh, yeah, I first played this when I was like 16 or 17, on my uh, on my bed in my room with my tiny tiny little box TV, and my Xbox 360. Yep. Hey, hey, you made it! Oh, hey, bud. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Oh! Wait, wait. You see the portal gun? No, you chuckle also, fuck. Why are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll, uh -huh. wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Uh -huh. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Uh huh. Rat man? Rat man? Ooh. Rat man, what did you... Oh my god, look at this painting! I love this painting! This is one of my favorite paintings. The rat man did this. The guy hiding in the workings in the first one. Oh yeah, this is me in Portal 1, taking care of... Oh, what is huh. Wild. Okay, well I have the gun. Whoa. What's oh, the moon phases? Uh, why can't I use it? I, okay, so I picked it up. Oh. The scientist building Gladys. And that's supposed to be Gladys killing everybody. Okay, well, what's happening? Hang on. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> okay, I don't know how that happened, but we figured it out. Jesus. Woo! Glad I realized it was a button issue and not a game issue. Ooh. Lots of overgrown. I like that you can see where your portals are in two. <coughs> 
Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. To share. Finally. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Okay. Oh. Okay. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Ooh. I liked my smooth jazz. That was some good smooth jazz. Oh, it gave me another one. I didn't even see that. I'm silly. Here you go. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. What? Hey, pull. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right. Up here. Unreason. Okay, Ratman. Whatever you say. Don't forget to stay hydrated, folks. It's hot. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh. Hello. Why would I ever need to worry about the slingshot? Oh.
Hey, I did it. All right, all right, all right. I saw what was happening. I see, I see. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Jesus, Aperture. That's, now that's efficiency. Just something banging around in the tube above us. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Yeah, no, a valid, uh, valid response. It doesn't apply. Yeah. Oh, easy peasy. This is one of my favorite things to do. Look at me go. If you are a non-employee who has Move. discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Fair. All right. All right. I just like that it's testing and not like capitalism. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Let's assess the situation. What the fuck am I looking at here? Oh, speedy thing go in, speedy thing go out. Yep. Ah. Okay. Is that a bit of wall over there? Ow. Do what's up there? I do. Now. Okay. Can I put it down? Thank you. No, oh, that's light. Now... I bet, I bet you, I bet you, you do that. I hope you don't get motion sickness. We're gonna do a lot of really funky tricks in this one. Holy shit, this is just the beginning. Misclicked. Hit. And I take you Good work there. Getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Alright, calm down. What's the name of that song now? It's stuck in my head. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The enrichment center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. I feel like it's Madonna. I don't know why I did that to myself, but it's in my head now. Hey! Oi, oi! Oh, hey, hey! Oh, brilliant! You did find the portal little... gun! Oh, the... do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. You're really fucking funny. Just pop a portal right behind me there, and come on through to the other side. Hello. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail 
or I would die. Okay. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Okay. Three. Ready? One. Yep. I'm not going to catch him, chat. Three! That's high. It's, it's too oh, high. Oh, okay. okay. really that. All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? Oh, catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. Oh. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. I'm sure I will be, Wee um, Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Oh, okay. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? I did! I turned around! Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not <laughs> open. While your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. Uh, okay, alright, let's we. go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. I was gonna say, isn't there a rail going the exact same direction that we're going? Oh, hello. Oh, sir. no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. <laughs> Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, all right, all right. Look at these fancy ass doors. Now, this is a, a Valve Half Life room if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Just something about that wall and that floor and the certain grit it has. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. Yeah. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Oh, I you know exactly who you're talking about. You think this is going to go well? Forever. That's an option. Option A: sit here, do nothing. Option B: go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. Oh, right great. Now. I can't. I can't speak. I'm. I've got Gordon Freeman. In case you thought to yourself, I'm I missed a the relative. window of time to voice my reservations. It's still open. Do you have reservations? If you've got reservations, Wheatley, you ought to voice them. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't. Don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Okay. I don't know how you thought this was gonna be a good idea. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you oh, know who yeah. ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. Oh, I, I know. wouldn't know anything I know, I wouldn't have believed that. either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You know where we go, Wheatley? Really, do you know where we go? How did I get dragged back in? Oh yeah, it's the rat man. The rat man drags you back in. Do I have to do some platforming? Oh, here it is. Arrows, 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 arrows. Okay, down these stairs. Mm -hmm. Jump! This, I, ah! Oh, still yeah. held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied Thank the grit. You. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Oh, really? We just, just walked through her room and it was fine? I do not recommend it. Ah, oh, I've just done it again. Why do you keep looking down then, bruh? This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. This is a horrible idea. Do you know what Look we do? Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, I'll look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Oh, I'm sure this is a great idea. Here you go, bud. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay. No, you no, thought this was her? You thought this was the way to get out, huh? No. You thought escape faster. pod in this room. I don't know why. Oh. You thought escape pod in this room. Oh, okay, boy. don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh -huh. uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just yeah, you're gonna hack it. You're gonna hack it. Yeah. 
A A A A A um S. Are you seeing my face right now? I'm looking at the camera. A A A A A. -A. You didn't even say B first. Wait, did I do B? Did you okay? No, so you didn't. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. What? Uh, 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 oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, uh, no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our wait, differences wait. behind us. For science. You monster. Okay. Alright. Sure, Gladys. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Oh, boy. Welcome to Portal 2. She's mad. She's real mad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, alright. Cool. Alright. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual oh. portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Just like old times, Gladys. The music oh! Fine. Look at her! I'm gonna take you with me, ma'am. Huh! Oh. She exploded in my hands. Okay, let's there go. There it is. Hold on. So Here. Oops. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing Woo. starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered yeah. I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. Okay, right. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. Oh. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. Are I'm you? happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. Oh, okay. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. Okay, alright. Let's just test forever. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. Uh -huh. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. Are you sure about After that, that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. That sounds like a right up your alley there, Gladys. Oh boy. Ooh, chapter two. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test. Okay. Which involves deadly lasers, and how oh. test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh, okay, alright, 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 you may- yeah. Oh, oh, okay, here it comes, here's the laser. Uh, oh. Oh, I 
Crazy. Whoop. Oh, do I need to be standing on it? Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Oh, I know we do. <coughs> Caution for giant lasers in your workplace. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. <laughs> I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to get how they work. There should be one in the corner. Yes, thank you. I, the, fun fact, the one thing I know how to do is jump, guys. Yeah, we are. We are. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. Oh. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Do you, do you think she's mad at me? I don't know. I can't tell. There might be some hard feelings. Just maybe. Just maybe there may be some hard feelings. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Oh well, thanks. I, I don't even know that that's true or a factual about Shell. But I don't think it is. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. It's always so cool watching these rooms get, like, put together. Hey. Suckers, luck, exile. It's your. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the song Exile Vilify by uh, The National was for the Rat Man. And, uh. Yeah, she might be a little mad at me, just a wee bit. Um, and they had a competition for somebody to do a music video to their song. And somebody did a, a Ratman animated video, and it's so beautiful, and it's one of my favorite songs. And it's not the one that won the vi music video contest. No, these indie-ass motherfuckers chose the guy doing sock puppets. <gasps> there it is! Oh my god, I totally didn't know that they actually play, play the whole song. And like, here's the art for it. Oh. Oh, that makes, that gives me heart feelings. It makes my heart hurt. I'm okay, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I just have a lot of feelings. I have an extreme amount of feelings. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so where's the other boxy box? How do... I get it. 
to open both. Why? Where's the other one? Oh, it's there. Okay. Hang on. Congratulations. There we go. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds. Uh, fat phobia trigger warning. Pack on a few pounds. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. They make that joke. It's not very cool. I mean, they only make it for so long, but in the first section of the game here, but it's still not good, so I'm sorry about that. One moment. Oh, okay, thank you, Gladys. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and no. do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm destroying this facility. It would go. All right, well. Yeah, I think we'll wait for it to come all the way back around. My bad. Guess I see you, Gladys. Hello. you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Oh, hey. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. Really? Yeah, I don't remember which chapter we start here in Cave Johnson at, but I think it's not very far in. No spoilers, but, you know, just so you know, Gladys doesn't make up all of the test chambers of this game. Thank you, Gladys. This That's next great. test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Oh. All right. I also just love watching these rooms be built every single time. Ha! Oh! I almost had it. I almost had it. I almost had it. Give me that. I'm a genius. Anyways, here's an interesting Simplest fact. puzzle ever. You're not genius. breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. I mean, that's just... That just makes sense. It's pretty expensive to just pump fresh oxygen from God knows where into somewhere. That's just, that's just efficiency. That's just industrialism. 
That wouldn't disturb me as a fact. It would probably we'll just inhibit it because is. the air would probably be. Boom. Advanced aerial faceplates. Oh. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Have fun! Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think I remember something that happens in this room. Uh. Alright. I like the little sounds they all make. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I did it backwards. Hey, can I reach it from here? Sure can. So much better if I don't have to fire well in the air. I mean, it's fun and I feel like a, a badass when I do it. You know. There's my child. Playing the video games. Ugh. Oh, okay, all right. Ma'am. You're sitting on my hand. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test oh. chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing oh. around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Do my best. Alright, let's try that again. I'm kind of watching the screen, there's a cat in front of me. Hey, I did it. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Fair. Alright. Th thank you for making sure I understood. My fur child is uh, sitting in front of me, bumping the mic and uh, occasionally crying at me. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Oh, I'm not guilty about shit, Gladys. I uh, know what I know and I feel for you, but I'm not... Uh... Uh, is this when it starts to get real tricky? Okay. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. The face Go I ahead just and grab made. another one. Do my best. Hello, ma'am. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm uh -huh. happy to get rid of them. Uh-huh. Really? Wheatley may be a fool, but it's my only way out of here. Alright. And... 
understand. Sticking my hand now. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> the hand I'm using on my keyboard has a cat grooming me. <laughs> Real <laughs> Oh, now she's licking the hand with the mouse. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Oh, excuse me? Hang on, hold the phone. What? Don't take anything with me. How could I possibly... Is it possible? creepy music going on in the background. Nope. There has to be a way. Oh, I'm a fool. There was rooms in the... I didn't need to grab it all the way off. I could have just made portals up there. Oops. While I do the test all over again for fun. Alright, 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 alright. Hip. Don't mind if I do. This bad boy's coming with me. The companion cube, looking sharper and better than ever. <laughs> hey. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Lore confirmed. The cubes are sentient! <laughs> <laughs> 